is starting off this whole part over here is the button logic. So if you look at the diagram, the counter is what is incremented every time you play, uh, play a square and it's either a one or a zero and depending if it's a one or a zero, it chooses the blue or the yellow. And the green, the flip-flop is already loaded with the height and just waits for a clock signal that comes from the button that turns on the LED forever until you turn off the turn off the machine and whatever. And over here in the corner, these are diodes used to form a 16 input OR gate that runs the counter clock. So every time I press a button, this rises up and hence changes the counter flip-flop. Okay, going on to victory logic. This is just a bunch of AND gates for all the 18 different victory conditions, which is again put together with three input AND gates for each three tiles. And over here uh, is another set of diodes for another set of eight input OR gates because I don't want to use ICs. And finally, the draw logic, which is just one gate over there, it decides whether it's a draw or not. Go back here. And the uh, interesting features. The game, might want to angle it a bit, yeah. The game, yes. You cannot play twice on the same tile, so if you press once and press twice, nothing happens and waits for the next turn. And it's blue and yellow in this case, so if I play again, it's yellow. And you cannot, and it's very intuitive because the buttons correspond to the particular tile. You don't have to worry <coughs> about that. And the last one is automatically alternates between blue and yellow. So, automatic game.